Hi everyone. So we've been getting a lot of questions recently on cloud work sharing, um, especially with the later versions of Revit 2021 and 2020. Um, basically from the home screen, if you go to your Bin360 drive, your cloud work share models just don't exist as an option to select. So you can see here, like there are options to kind of look at, but whenever I go back to my recent file, so this project here I'm working in, it is a cloud work shared model. It originally was, I think it was a 2019 originally. Um, now I'm using it in 2021, but I can't see it in my Bin360 drive. It's under a project called Desert Martin. So I'm going to run through the process on how to upgrade your cloud work share models to the recent version that you're using. Recently, they updated Bin360 so you can include Revit 2021 as it was only available up to Revit 2020 for a while. There are other projects in here that are different versions. They were just like backup files of other projects I wasn't working on. So I'm going to show you what happens whenever, and I'm going to show you how to and what happens whenever we do upgrade that. So it's within your project admin. And if you come to your document management under services and go to Revit Cloud model upgrade. So it'll look for all the models in this project that are available to upload. Um, you can do like a test upgrade, which you can see I've got a tab at the top there of one already previously made. Just so that you know, it will pull across the error report. It will find anything that's going to disconnect and might be deleted. Um, so there's railings, some windows, not a big issue. Um, something that's easy fixed. So cloud models can be upgraded from 2020 to 2021. I'm going to go ahead and do that. So you'll get a bit of a warning about what happens in the background. Um, so good, you need to use a newer version of Revit to release, release to open up your Revit cloud models, which is normal if we're doing it on a local drive anyway. So I'm sure many of you are aware that if you do upgrade these models, they're not going to be backwards compatible again. So if it is something you need to do, make sure that all the models in that folder or in that project, you're happy to upgrade them because there's kind of no going back from here. So you'll see that it will run the upgrade for you in the background. It says it can take a while and that you will receive an email when it's complete. Whenever you are doing this, make sure that no other team members are working in the project. So maybe wait until like a Friday afternoon, everyone's heading home before you run this or else do it over the weekend whenever you know nobody's going to be in the project. Okay, guys, that's everything finished. It says it's updated for us. It's all completed. Um, we can download the report. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. It actually puts it in docs first before it allows you to download it. So, yep, awesome. Okay. So I'm going to download the source file. So I'm going to have a look at it. Now, the important thing, we need to see what our Revit looks like. So I haven't actually closed Revit yet. I want to see if it updates it live. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. So just to confirm... My project's still not showing in there for me. So let's restart Revit. So guys, once that's complete, you'll see that in your Bin360 drive, you'll now be able to get to the relevant, I'm just going to refresh that, the relevant folder and see your 2021 Cloud Workshare models that exist within the folder. You see if it's latest published, you'll see all the useful information that you need to. And whenever you do open it, um, so let's go ahead and open the model. You'll be able to synchronize back to central whenever you need be. Um, save it as well. So I can mind set to synchronize now. You can set it whatever way you need to. But if you need to update the version and want to publish it for others to see, what you'll then have to do is come to your collaborate, manage your cloud models, and you will need so it's obviously the latest publish I've just opened it, but I need to publish from within this window. So let me see if I go to my, let's go to a different view. So this will update and save all your changes. Obviously you don't have to publish it if you don't need to. So once you're, once you are ready to share that with team members, whoever else is working on it, oh, not publish settings, make sure you've got all your public publish settings set up. So I've got my 3D views and my sheets. Um, that's all I, all I need for this one. Manage your cloud models. We'll refresh that. Can I publish my latest? So yeah, we can work away as that's 
updating and what you will notice in your bin 360 is that your versions will now update and we can still compare and change what we need to change so yeah there we go it's updating the version 4 once that's done we can go in and have a look at our 2d sheets or 3d views so once that's complete guys you'll see your version 4 updated we can go in and have a look around got all the 3d views that are in place you can still do all the markups all the usual stuff and any 2D sheets that you already have created and are part of your publish set will now exist. So I hope you've enjoyed the video guys. Um, if you do enjoy it, please like and subscribe. Keep an eye out for updates on Twitter. There'll be more videos coming your way. Thank you.